When we implement microservices architectures, we can create any number of microservices by using the modules provided by Spring Boot. For example, if we are working on a hospital management software, we can create a patient registration microservice, a patient clinicals microservice, patient claim management and patient bed management microservices. But there will be several non-functional requirements for these microservices, starting with service registration and discovery. That is, each microservice will have to register itself with a centralized server and the other microservices will be able to discover that particular microservice and communicate with it dynamically. Without that, each microservice will be tightly coupled to another microservice. So that is number one non-functional requirement. Load balancing. As the load to our microservices increase, we'll have to have multiple instances of the same microservice running on different servers and the load should be balanced. Thirdly, if something goes wrong in one of these microservices, the entire system should not come down or collapse. So these microservices should be fault tolerant and they should handle the faults gracefully. Easy integration, they should be able to communicate with each other easily through a RESTful client API, RESTful API in easy steps. Next, we'll also have cross-cutting concerns which are common across these microservices like security. It could be authentication, authorization, logging, etc. which are common requirements across these microservices. So instead of repeating those cross-cutting concerns across these microservices, we should have one place where we can address them. Last but not the least, distributed tracing. So as the requests go from one microservice to another, for example, clinicals to registration or registration to clinicals to bed management, we should be able to trace how the requests are going and how the responses are coming back. When something goes wrong, we can exactly pinpoint where it went wrong using distributed tracing. So all these are not available in Spring Boot. That is where Spring Cloud comes in. Spring Cloud is a collection of open source components that help us implementing all these and more. So if you launch your web browser and search for Spring Cloud, click on the very first link which says spring.io, it takes you to the Spring Cloud and you will find a ton of Spring Cloud projects here. So these are the important projects which I have already talked about, most of them here. And if you scroll them, scroll down, you will see a lot more. Spring Cloud Cluster, Spring Cloud Console, Spring Cloud Security, Sleuth and more. But once you understand what they are there for and how to use them, you can use any of the Spring Cloud components. So the service registration and discovery is provided by Netflix Eureka server. If you search for Eureka here, you see that Spring Cloud Netflix. There are several projects which Netflix as open source, like Eureka, Histrix, Zool, which you will be using in this course. So service registration and discovery is provided by Eureka. Load balancing is provided by Histrix. Fault tolerance is uh, provided by, load balancing is provided by Ribbon. Fault tolerance is provided by Histrix. Easy integration, there is something called Fain Client, which will help us create RESTful clients in a super easy way. And the cross-cutting concerns are uh, configured using a Zool proxy gateway. So whatever is common across these microservices, we can implement them in a single place, in a single Zool server, and then all of them can use it. Distributed tracing is possible by Sleuth. If you search for S-L-E-U-T-H, so that component from Spring Cloud allows us to do distributed tracing as the requests go from one microservice to another. And there is also something called Zipkin right there. So we use Sleuth and Zipkin. Zipkin will give us a nice dashboard where we can see how the requests are flowing from one microservice to another. So you're going to use each of these components from uh, Spring Cloud to implement all these non-functional requirements for your microservices.